In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the amount credited and the outstanding balance from partial payments. There's a few things that you'll need to know before we start. A company sometimes cannot pay the full amount due in time to take advantage of a cash discount. So most sellers allow buyers to make a partial payment and still get a partial discount. With that being said, the first of three questions reads, if the SEMS Corporation received a $875 invoice with terms of 3 slash 10 and N slash 30, where this ratio represents 3% if you pay within 10 days or the net price within 30 days. After 30 days, you might have to pay interest or penalties. And the corporation could not pay the full amount within 10 days, but chose to send a $500 partial payment on day five. What amount was credited to their account? So they tried to pay $500 out of the 875. We are looking for the amount credited. So we'll use the formula where the amount credited is equal to the partial payment made, 500. So I'll write down B for amount credited is equal to the partial payment of 500 divided by R, which is the complement of the discount rate. To find the complement of the discount, you take 100% and subtract it from the percentage that they give you, the discount percent. Now, of course, we can't use percentages when we do calculations. Whatever that difference is equal to, which is 97%, you have to make it into decimal. So 97% as a decimal is 0.97, just divide by 100. So we have 500 divided by 0.97, and that will give us the amount credited. And the definition for that is right here, is the sum of the partial payment and the partial discount. So 500 divided by 0.97 gives us $515.46. So 515 decimal 46. In addition, the balance remaining would be this number minus that number. So let's go ahead and calculate that just for interest sake. We end up with $359.53. So this is how much the Sims Corporation would still have to pay after making that partial payment. In question number two, we're asked an invoice for 1200 is dated on June 3rd, and the terms are 3 slash 10 and slash 30 are offered. Once again, these terms are the same as before. A payment of $800 is made on June 12th. Notice that that is before June 13th, which is the cutoff date. And the remainder is paid on July 12th. Find the amount remitted on July 12th and the amount paid. Before we go ahead and do this, let's just say that they paid the amount right away on the very first day. Let's see what the discount would be. 1200 times 0 0.03, the discount would be $36, which means that they would only have to pay 1,164. Let's just write that down for reference sake. Instead, they couldn't make the full payment, but they did make it within this range. So we'll take 800 and divide it by the complement of the discount rate, which is again, 97% or 0.97. The amount credited, therefore, will be the following number, 824.74, 824.74. That's the amount credited. Subtracting that from the total, 1200 minus 824.74, we get the amount that's left over. So 1200 minus that answer we just found, and it's 375.25. 375.25. That's how much they have left to pay. Now we're also asked to find the total amount paid. We know that they already paid 800 and that they have to pay the rest shown here in that amount. So if we add 800 to this, we end up with 1,175. As you can see, they have to pay a little more than had they paid the complete amount at the very beginning. So writing this down, 1,175 decimal 25. And if we want to round this to two numbers after the decimal place, we would push this five to a six, 0.26. Lastly, Campbell Sales purchased merchandise worth $745 and made a partial payment of 300 on day 13. If the sales terms were two slash 15, which means that they are within that range, and n slash 30, how much was credited to the account? 
what was the outstanding balance. All right, so we'll take 300 divided by, we're looking for B, 0 0.98, 98% converted to a decimal. 300 divided by 0 0.98 gives us 306.12. That's the amount credited. That answers the first part. What was the outstanding balance? For this, we subtract this number with that number. So 745 minus the answer, $438 decimal 88, 88 cents. And there you have it. Three examples on how to find the amount credited and the outstanding balance from partial payments.